If you've clicked this video, it's highly likely that you have to create charts in the APA style quite often and be it for posters or conferences or papers or whatsoever. Well, I suspect many of you working with Tidyverse and GGplot2 in our studio have a specific APA theme or create the theme every time you need to publish an APA styled plot. Well, I think you can make your life a lot easier. Now, in this video, I want to show you how that works. Because our studio has a very interesting functionality with which you can fire up or set up an APA theme every time you start our studio or a specific project in our studio. And I want to show you how. So let's imagine we have this plot, it's just a histogram, and we want to start it in the APA theme every time we load this specific project or our studio in general. Well, the magic comes with the R profile file. And to have a look into that file, you can, well, I would just first install that package. It's called the use this package. So I've installed it already, so I don't have to do it again. And then there it has this function, which is called edit R profile. So let me run that code, let me run that function. And if I open that, I can see that I've already created something here. And so what I did here, there's a function called first, and then I have two uh, library calls. So what I essentially, what I'm essentially telling our studio here, this every time you fire up our studio, every time you load our studio, these two, two packages are being loaded. So I don't have to do it every time for myself again. But you can also do other things. For example, you can set up a specific theme there and then all your plots will have this exact theme. Well, you have two options. Let me first start with a general option. I just quickly copy a code here for you and you can find the link for that code below this video. So this is the code. Let me just copy it in here. And what this code does is two things. First of all, it loads the package, the tidyverse package. You could also load the ggplot2 package, if you will. And then we set up the APA theme. So this is my version of the APA theme. You can adjust it and change it as you want to. Uh, I just think it's, it's, a, it's a decent theme and it represents the APA style, for at least for APA 7. And then I set that theme for every ggplot2 plot. Well, let me save that file and let me quickly load the RStudio again. I'm just gonna click um, to do a session, terminate the session, or I'm gonna restart R quickly. Let me restart it. You can see that ah, the Tidyverse package has been loaded here. That's because we put it into the R profile file here. And let's see how our plot will gonna look like. If I run this code, now this code has the APA styled theme. So it has a white background, the grid lines are gone, and the title of the axis title and the axis text is quite big. Okay, cool, that's interesting. So what I did here, essentially, I created a global theme for every plot, but maybe, maybe I just want to create an APA theme for a specific project in our studio. I can also do that. So instead of working in the general R profile file, I can go to my files in my project and create a new file. I'll just create a new file here. Um, not an R file, but I'm gonna create a new text file and call it R profile. That's it. Save that file. Use this R profile file. Now I have it here and I just copy the same code in here. So let me copy the other code I just had and go back to my original version here. So here I just loaded the tidyverse and the tidy models package. For now I'm just going to load the tidyverse package here and then in my R profile file I set the theme. So what's, ha what's happening here is that instead of setting the theme for every plot, every time I load our studio or start our studio, I'm gonna set the APA theme for a specific project. So it's not, it's not tied to that specific, um, to, to, it's, not, it's not happening for every project. Okay, so let me run it again and you should see that actually nothing changes. The only difference is, is that this theme is only being used for this specific project. And again, let me just run that code here and see how it looks like. Again, I can see the APA theme. So that's quite simple. The only thing you need to do, you have to copy that code. Mind that I've got this first function. You don't have to really know what it's all about. Um, I recommend you you're using it. it. It would also work without it, but it has some side effects. So I would suggest you just leave it like this 
and change the APA theme as you like. And I hope that trick makes your life a little bit easier creating charts in the APA 7 style.